The 2008 US Open is one of the most instantly recalled major championships of all time. Expect anything different? But let's not forget the odyssey of the man who finished third, an intriguing character then and maybe even more so now. Playing in the final group with Tiger Woods, Lee Westwood led with nine holes to play. He had a birdie chance at the par 5 18th that would have put him into a playoff. Yeah, it was probably about 18, 20 feet, downhill slightly left to right. Thought I did a good putt. It wiggled a little bit left, about five feet short, um, which sort of took it away from going in. It was just a good atmosphere and environment to be closely involved in. It was one of those enjoyable days you have at a major championship as a professional golfer. Westwood would author an additional seven top threes in majors across the next five years, never to find the major winner's circle. Well, you need a little bit of luck. Um, you have to be patient. Sometimes it doesn't take, you know, that much. You know, you're, you kind of blow it out of proportion and you try and do too much. So uh, just a lot of patience required at major sessions. Fast forward to today and Westwood is playing with a childlike exuberance. He finished tied for fourth at the 2019 Open at Royal Port Rush. In 2020, he won the race to Dubai and this year on the PGA Tour, he has two runner-up finishes. I still put a lot into my game, you know, practice hard and work hard. And it's just nice to, at 48 years of age, to be able to, be able to still play competitive world-class golf and, you know, take on some of these younger guys when the game's there or thereabouts. It's still good enough to, to contend and hopefully win. Part of his renewed zest for golf can be attributed to his caddy, Helen Story. Mentally, she's very good for me. She keeps me in a good place out there and a good frame of mind and uh, she's very positive and uh, she knows me better than anybody else. So uh, if she sees me slipping into a mindset or a place I don't need to be, then she generally tries to drag me out of it, change the subject and take it away from golf. And after a long day on the course, they each play their part in helping the other unwind. She probably does the bathroom and I probably uncork the ball. It's a routine that is working and will be on display again this week at Torrey Pines. The only difference is now their man and wife. We got married uh, last, last Friday at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Just the two of us there in front of the fountains. It was lovely. It was a really nice moment. Had a few glasses of champagne, a few margaritas. The remarkable thing about it all was neither of us gambled once. Neither of us played a hand or rolled a dice. The Westwood sound like a safe bet this week at Torrey Pines, and taking home the U.S. Open trophy might be the best wedding gift a golfer could get.